very excited to make the documentary for senior year because I've always heard very good things about it and that's a great experience. I was really nervous because like since seventh grade I've been hearing about how it's such a huge project. Every grade has done it and we watch them every year and it's a big event. I didn't really want to do the documentary at all. Funny enough, um, I thought it would just be extra work. I've heard from past grades that working in a big group can be a little bit challenging. I was just kind of curious like what the steps would be, like what it actually meant to make a documentary of like um, a whole grade. I was excited to make the documentary, but I also didn't really know what it was going to be about. Obviously, we didn't have our topic yet. Yeah, we did system mapping in the beginning of the year for a history class, civics class. Like you have a central idea, a central term, and then you find ideas and topics that relate to that and then you find more ideas and topics that relate to those ideas and topics. You um, connect them using different arrows and you can signify their correlation. Like just figuring out how everything is connected and how everything like, there's one like problem but there's like all these other things connected to it. It was, it was a new way of thinking that kind of permeated through the whole project. I think the maps fit very well with my brain and how I think and it worked very well for me. So we spent a few weeks uh, in English class learning about documentary structure and that was really helpful for making this documentary because we had a strong sense of what it took to have a strong story. Okay, so in October we went to the Greenfield Garden Cinema and we uh, sat down with some filmmakers who showed us their work. It helped a lot to have the documentary filmmakers um, show us how documentaries were made and it gave us like a better understanding of how to make one. And we saw this one in particular, it's called 16 Bars, and it was about currently incarcerated people playing music and how that has impacted them. And we all really liked that. We really were inspired by that documentary and we were thinking about how we could apply that to our documentary a little bit. There was a really good documentary about some people who were like currently incarcerated and I think we just all thought it was something that needed to be talked about. I remember I was one of the people who researched the prison system and um, re-entry programs. I researched the Compost Cooperative and I found that very interesting and immediately after researching that and learning more about the system, I was like dead set on wanting our documentary to be about that. In that first week of deciding what your topic is, if you have 60% of people that are all agreed on one thing, that's the thing that's going to be the topic of the documentary. The topic we chose was kind of the connection between um, incarceration and reentry programs and environmental justice. Because the theme of the documentary is always something to do with environment and climate change, and this was the spin we put on it. And then once we figured out what our topic actually was, I started getting really excited because it was just really interesting and I wanted to learn more. We had a debate, like a whole class debate, um, about whether green re-entry programs should be prioritized above all else in terms of re-entry. It really helped us build background knowledge for what we were about to research more and um, who we were going to interview and it helped us find programs to contact even. The debate was the most fun assignment I think I've ever done. I love debating. Uh, I love like being able to argue and it's like totally acceptable. For field work where we went out and interviewed everyone, I was an interviewer, um, so I prepared by just looking up the organizations I was going to interview. I was a file manager, so before we all went on field work, I sat down with my, my team, my other file managers, we got an organization list for our B-roll and for our interviews, we had to keep track of SD cards, so we made a spreadsheet for that and we had to sign them out. So my job for Field Work was uh, I was producer and I was in charge of creating our um, agenda for the day. I was a cinematographer. I learned how to use the camera equipment. Um, my role was an interviewer. I spent a lot of time thinking about what I was going to say, um, how I was going to say it, and how to collaborate with my peer, which was Stella. When I saw my name on the board under interviewer, I was like, oh, why did I do that? I was kind of kicking myself. I was interviewing with Caleb. We were an interviewing team, 
and we practiced on each other a lot. We would like pretend to be the people and go through every possible scenario because we were really nervous. Honestly, I'm really proud of our interviewers. I'm very impressed with all the work that they did and just how like professional and confident they all were. That was my first time conducting like a formal interview and that was scary. Uh, but it was really fun and I got to talk to some really interesting people. It was really welcoming and the members were really nice to us. It was just so easy to get comfortable with the people that we were interviewing because they were super willing and open and just like, very, very nice people. My favorite part was exploring the Providence Capitol building. So we were just looking out for B-roll and Mr. Wilson decided that we should go to the Capitol but we were just passing by, shooting some b-roll of it, and someone asked us if we wanted to go in. Once we got inside, it was like super incredible and there weren't really any people in there, so we were just left to like wander around and like go into all the different random rooms. Considering that we were making a documentary about the justice system and seeing like all the inscriptions of justice on the walls and stuff, it was interesting. Like I didn't expect going into it that I was gonna actually like feel something while watching them, but we started at Leo's, then we went to Michael's, and those two interviews just are so impactful. So I really enjoyed hearing those people speak about their stories. And for me, like the first day of field work, when I interviewed the people at Merch was so life-changing. It like still sticking with me, like just their stories and what they've been through and where they are now, how much they're still trying and doing. Putting the story together after the interviews was probably the most challenging part because we had to create our own like organizational systems. We basically took all the content that we had and we looked through all the selects that we had and we organized them into the chapters that we wanted to use. We had all these selects, hours of selects, um, and we didn't really know what direction to take it. And we took it a certain direction and then when we met as a group, it was like, this film's boring. And we like, over the last week, just totally revamped it and added in tons of narration and information and now it's like I think it's a really interesting film so the fact that we were able to like pull together and pivot our direction in such a short amount of time I'm really proud of. So everyone who wanted to be a narrator got to read off a part of the script and like demonstrate how they would sound as the narrator and I guess people voted for my voice. So I'm an editor and that like decision was really hard for me to make because I don't I like to write but I didn't really want to write the script I just didn't feel as connected with it and I was a file manager so like I wanted to stick with editing computers and things like that and I was simply really nervous to be an editor like I don't know anything about Premiere I didn't know much about B-roll I didn't even know what B-roll and editable really meant and still starting this project um, but I love being an editor my job was uh, chapter three working on editing chapter three and I think it's the longest um, chapter in terms of interview footage. I'm getting really good at cutting out ums, when people repeat words, and then blending those audios together and those clips is very satisfying once you get it right. Today we did the final cut, so we put all of the sections and all the chapters together. We're in the thick of it right now, so it's hard to enjoy the process. Hello, we are the final editing team, and we are here to finish. Ben is working on audio for our last chapter. Isaiah is working on music for between two chapters, three and four. Um, Willow is continuing to work on credits, and Ali is helping Isaiah finding music and other things that can go in between. And I'm kind of, I guess you could say, supervising and stressing out more than I need to be. Through this project, um, I think the most important thing I've learned is how to collaborate with my peers in a way that I can share my my ideas on. Um, on the documentary as well as just like knowing when to let go. I think I learned how important it is to just let stuff go. I'm a perfectionist. I like things to be as good as possible, but this definitely helped me let go of that a lot. I've gotten better at like being okay with not knowing and not having full control over what's happening. Before, I feel like I didn't really understand the topic we were like learning about like and now i feel like i have a bigger view about it and like the world around me the whole prisoner reentry system is just so complex and there's a ton of different issues that go into our documentary subject um, and it's it's a it's not black and white it's a complex issue
Um, and I think that our documentary really highlights that. One of the biggest issues with a lot of problems is people don't know about it. So us making a film like this that brings to light all these organizations is like giving awareness to the issue and also making a statement that like there needs to be a solution. It's like a call to action as well. It just kind of solidified for me like how important this topic is to talk about. I'm proud of our grade for like coming together and like everyone wants it to be high quality, which is something I've noticed about our grade. Like we always want any group projects to be really well and really strong and clean. And I feel like having everyone chip into that, this project has been really nice to see. Um, everyone our grade is actually closer than we seem. We're um, able to work very well together. It was a ton of work to do this. Um, and at the I couldn't really see the ending in the beginning and now as we're nearing the end, it's just the whole process felt like it flew by. I guess I'm just proud that we did any of it. It's a lot of work to learn everything that we had to before we even got to a place where we could go interview people, you know, with all of the technology or like the strategies to really like make a good interview. And I'm just glad that we've done it.